Number one is wake from sleep mode where the TV's on but the Zumo box isn't. So you hit the home button and by doing that it kind of gives a signal to the Zumo box to wake up. Now hit that center select button to go into the spectrum app for the next couple of tips. Next up we're going to set the startup channel so when you power on the unit hit the back button and then hit the up button so you're inside the spectrum menu and basically there's home, live TV, guide. You're just going to hit the right button until you're all the way across all five of the top tabs and then keep hitting the right button and you'll cross over from the on demand to that one and then hit it one more time till you're on over the gear now hit the uh, the select button in the center once you're over the gear and what that does is it brings you into the spectrum settings from here you'll hit the down button go to parental controls hit the down button again purchase controls and one more time the down button to preferences once you're on preferences you hit the right button and that'll highlight the top row startup channel set to off then hit the select button to toggle it to on once you see that it's on hit the down button again and this is where we'll select it and then go ahead and hit the select button so in the top row is your favorites, so any channel you favorited, you can set the startup channel to that, it's just an easy way to see them. And then down, if you hit the down button, you get A to Z channels. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the buttons to navigate and get over the AMC channel, and then hit the center select button when you're over the channel you want, and that'll save the channel as your startup channel. And then go ahead and hit the back button several times to get back into your content. So a good segue into the next one, how do we set a channel into our favorites. So go ahead and hit the back button in the Spectrum app until you get the Spectrum menu. And again on the top where you see the five tabs, navigate over to the guide and go ahead and hit the select button to get down into the guide. And once you're in the guide, hit the left button and that will send you into the channels. So you're highlighting the channels, not the programs. And from here you can go up or down. And when you find the channel you want to favorite, just go ahead and hit the select button. And that'll put a little heart next to the channel. And you can see the heart becomes white. It fills in a color. And so now that channel is one of your favorites. And then go ahead and hit the right button to get back out to your program guide. Now you can see all channels. So if you hold and press the center button, you'll get the option to filter your guide and if you go down to from all channels you can go to favorites and hit the center select button and now you've got your just your favorite channel showing now this filter thing only appears if you're actually over a program not the channel name so again if you press and hold while you're over a program you can get back to this filter go up and down I'm just gonna leave it where it is all channels and I'm gonna hit the center select button because I want to move back to all channels and there it is next up we're going to change the closed caption size so when you're watching a program and you have the closed captions turned on out of the box it's rather small I mean I can't read that even up close so the way to change that when you're watching a show is you hit the gear button on the remote which is different than the gear button in the menu um, and that brings you to the Zumo settings screen and then you hit the right button twice to the accessibility tile and then you hit the center select button and from here you're going to go down four rows so we hit the down button one two three times and then hit the right button when you're on this row here and it'll highlight the manage and then when that's highlighted you hit the center select button so here you are with the settings for closed caption style. So go ahead and hit the right button on text and you can see it's set to small. So when you hit the right button and it's highlighted, then you hit the center select button. And from here, now you're inside the chooser, you can hit the down and up arrow to choose the size you want. And when you're hovered over a size you want, you hit the center select button.
And then from there you just basically hit the home button to get back out. And then I'm going to hit the center select button to get back into the spectrum app. And it can see when you change it, it, it removes captions from the, from the display. So hit the up arrow to get to your quick program guide and then to the right a few times till you see CC highlighted to close captions and then hit center select and then just let it sit it'll set and you'll start to see the captions and the size that you configured and that is much better easier to read so next up we're going to look at a shortcut for the lack of page up and page down in the program guide if you're in the program guide and you press and hold the down arrow uh, it'll fast scroll through the guide so it's not quite page up or page down, but it removes you having to manually click to see each row if you're way away from the channel you want to be on. It also works with the up arrow. If you press and hold the up arrow in the guide, it will also fast scroll all the way up. And because you're on the Zumo box, it's going to loop through the guide so you don't have to worry about getting all the way to the top and it stopping. It'll just keep going. So again, if you're on the program guide and you press and hold the up, up or down button, you're going to get a fast scroll, which is kind of a nice feature. So next up, we're going to do uh, record a show or a series. So we'll start with recording a show. If you're watching a show, you hit the up button and you'll see the record button is highlighted. Go ahead and hit the center select button and hit the center select button a second time on the next menu. And you'll see on the screen, it'll say recording saved. So it's a real quick way without a dedicated record button. Now if you want to uh, record a series, hit the back button in the Spectrum app, go to the guide, use your arrow buttons to uh, navigate around to the show you want, and hit the center select button. And then hit the right button so you're over the record, and then hit the center select button to select record. Now you're going to get a choice, you can up or down here, record series or record show. I'm going to hit the select button over record series and then all my options are here. I can just hit the select button again and it's going to record the series and you'll see at the bottom recording saved. So you can do it that way or you can go back to that last screen and you can actually configure if you want new only or you know all the different options are there. You can use the navigation buttons to configure it to your liking. Once you've got recorded shows in the Spectrum app, hit the back button to find them and you'll see the spectrum menu, home, live TV. So use your navigation buttons to get up to the top and then go over to from home go to live TV to the right guide my library. And then in my library go ahead and hit the center select button and you'll see view DVR is highlighted and hit the center select button again. And from here you can use the navigation buttons to go up, down, left, right all around and you'll see a tile for each of your recorded shows or series. So if you hit the center select over one of them, you'll get a list of shows and then you can watch the show from there. Which is a great segue into watching recorded content and fast forwarding and rewind. So when you're watching a recorded show, in order to fast forward or rewind, you gotta hit the center select button so the timeline comes up. It's also, also gonna pause it. Um, and if you hit the right button, you'll fast forward. If you hit the right button multiple times, you'll fast forward multiple speeds, so it'll go times one, times two, times three. When you get to the point you want to be in the timeline, you hit the center select button to stop, and that'll play at that point in the timeline. Uh, the same is true with rewinding. If you want to rewind your show, you just hit the left button, and one, two, or three times, it'll increase the speed, and when you get to the point in the program you want, hit the center select button to view your content. And once you've been recording shows for a while and fill up your DVR, you're going to want to know how to delete a recorded series, which is a little different than deleting a recorded show. So in the DVR, in a recorded series where you see the list of shows, uh, go ahead and hit the right arrow. And then when that's highlighted, hit the down arrow to series options. And then hit the select. And from here, you'll get an option to cancel the series or edit the series. So go ahead and hit the center select over cancel series. And then that, that's pretty much it. Then you says recording deleted on the bottom, which means no more new episodes of this will be uh, recorded. And last but not least, 
So if you're in the Pluto free TV app on the Zumo box, how to exit the guide. Um, so if you're scrolling through the guide and you just want to exit the guide, there's really no shortcut. Hit the left arrow um, when you're done scrolling and you'll see highlight on the left. When you do that, it's going to be which genre you're in. Um, go ahead and hit the left arrow a second time. Once you see that's already highlighted there. And when you hit it a second time, you'll see you're over the top of the channel guide. So then go ahead and hit the up arrow. So it says now watching. And then hit the center select button. And basically that's it. That brings you out. You can still see what you were watching without having to change the channel in Pluto TV guide. So those are our 10 shortcuts, part two for the Zumo box. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the bell to be notified when more come out. And as always, thank you for watching and thank you for your comments. Uh, those are the best and I enjoy the conversation more than anything. Thank you.